Oh, hey y'all, welcome back to Fatty Supplements, a show dedicated to helping you learn games good. And today we are going to be talking about the Mega Shaleon. We're going to talk about the taming of it, where to find them, and also the breeding. You know, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to talk about is where to find them. And luckily for everyone, they're really easy to find. They're all over the ocean biome. Um, I always like to describe the uh, the ocean biome in three different layers. You have like the, the surface layer, like just right at the, the top. Um, that's where you're going to be able to find the Megalosheon, the giant turtles. Uh, they're all hanging out in there. Uh, then you have like a little bit of a deeper part, and that's where you're going to have to find uh, its bait, which is a school of per uh, parrotfish. Um, you can find them anywhere just a little deeper than when you actually find the turtles normally. Um, and they're swimming down there. And then you also get down to like a really deep area where there's caves. And that's where you get like um, the mosasaurs and stuff like that. And that's where you have to take them down to, to actually breed. Um, so that's where they're going to be found. It's just on that top surface area. Really easy to find. Um, just my first playthrough. Like I saw at least like six of them just around. I even saw 150. Um, so they're really common. It doesn't seem like they're going to be too difficult to actually find. Now the taming of them is when you find that school of fish, um, you kind of, I'll put them on the screen now, it kind of looks like the swarm um, of insects, but just like the fish version of it. Um, then they'll chase you, they'll hit you. I think they do about 20 damage on you um, when they do hit. And what you have to do is you have to lead it all the way to where the, the giant turtle is. And then when they're in proximity of each other, the fish will just kind of like hang around the turtle and the turtle will just consistently eat on them. And then you don't really have to do much other than that at that point uh, with the, the giant turtle itself. But what you have to do is make sure there are no creatures that are going to attack it. If you have anything that hits it during the taming period, it doesn't matter if you're at 99%, it just drops down to, to zero and you have to start the whole process over again, which is incredibly, uh, incredibly difficult. Now, or incredibly sad. Uh, one thing I was seeing online, and there was kind of some debate and misconceptions. People are saying that you can passively tame it, and uh, from my experience, I, I couldn't do it. I did the whole ghost mode that some people were saying, like the hitbox wasn't where the turtle should be, and every time I did it, it just said uh, that the giant turtle does not want to be tamed right now. So I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, there was a patch right before I started filming this. I haven't looked at the the patch notes or anything like that so i don't know if maybe they didn't want it to be a passive tame in the sense where you could just you know shove food up its butt or anything like that but i really think that uh they wanted this method to be the the primary method for taming it um it's also it's really not that difficult i think this would be honestly a little bit easier i didn't find them on land once and from everything i saw online too people are saying like they couldn't even find the hitbox in the water so I'm saying that that's probably not the best method. I wouldn't even worry about it. Like I said, the other methods are fine. Just have a couple sharks. I would have at least two people so you could kind of get different sides. Um, from my experience, the, the turtle just circled in the water, so it really wasn't that difficult to do it. Um, and then the, the saddle for it is also really easy. It is only 312 hide, 266 fiber, 76 metal ingots, 42 silica pearls, 28 cementing paste, and 42 shell fragments. Uh, those shell fragments are only gotten by uh, defeating a the Megalosheleon in the, the in the water. You need the bone fragments just after killing them when you harvest the animal. Um, as far as I know, that's the only way I could find to get them. Um, and when I looked at the wiki uh, for it as well, that's the only one that said that. Um, now going into breeding, the very last thing I want to talk about is they are breedable. It's not that difficult, but you have to get uh, deep enough. So when you try to do it, if you try to do it on land or near the surface, or even like when I first described in the video that that middle layer where you're going to find the, the schools of parrotfish, that is not going to be where they need to be bred. You actually have to go further and deeper down than that where like the mosasaurs are. And uh, it's not really too difficult to find an area to go down deep enough. Uh, I have some coordinates. It's 3251. And that's kind of like the center of the ocean biome. And if you just dive down there, you can see easy caverns and stuff just to kind of go. It's almost like a direct path down. And in there, you can easily find spots that are a little calmer to, to breed. And with the breeding, uh, they do lay eggs. Um, and what you do with those eggs is you can actually breed them down and hatch them, everything down in those deeps. So if you actually make your way down there with two of them, don't try to get the egg and then rush up to the surface to hatch it. Leave it in the water, hatch it, have the baby. Uh, I would honestly probably just even leave it to a point where you could grow it up before trying to take it out of there because that's going to be a really big pain or at least cryo it before you try to take it back to the surface. Um, and yeah, you should be all set with that. 
um, and just some random other ones. You know, you can build only three high on the turtle. So if you actually do check it out, you know, you can only do uh, three walls high, and that's where you have to do a ceiling. So it's not like three walls and then like you know like a slope triangle wall or anything like that. Like it's three is the maximum. Um, and that's like distance actually from the shell is what I found out. You can sink a foundation in and if you sink it to the point where you can't really see it anymore in the turtle, um, you can build up from that and you can kind of squeeze in that triangle on the top, but then you have a hard time placing stuff on it. So really just it's, it's three um, and you can go down uh, lower to that too. Um, so if you do take it on land or in like shallower waters, you can do stairs that kind of lead down to the edge. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check the links down below. We do have a Discord and a private server. Uh, right now we have five different uh, maps in a cluster and we have Genesis on the side. Uh, right now we are going to cluster them back in. Um, Genesis in in a little bit. We just don't want to add any of the modded dinosaurs we have on the other cluster in. So we're going to keep Genesis kind of its own thing at the moment and then cluster them back in. But yeah, definitely come check it out. And uh, I will catch you guys in uh, my next video. Peace.